Hello everybody and welcome to Houdini's Place. I am Houdini and this is going to be a walkthrough of my Camelot base. I know I have a four minute video out there but I figured we'd give you a little bit of closer look at it. I am very happy with this build and everything that has come from it. You see we got the twin gazebos. Uh, my wife did a beautiful job on picking our colors, and they are identical. And let's get a little more lifted view over here. Get a peek at everything. had a great time making this courtyard uh, the planting and whatnot went really nice yeah well a few things are going south the space was auctioned off and it is the owner of well I don't own it anymore <laughs> it's not mine here is my Aaron Longstaff water well Good place to hide my uh, tech generator and as you can see I have running water in there trying to trump the big guy and here we go here's a greenhouse a little bit of different design uh, he's not taking over the base yet all right let's get around this so it gets the heck out of the way. Thank you. More blueprints. Just what I needed. Here's my nice little bridge. Give me a little peek at that. I like the way that came out. It's neat. Simple. Serves its purpose. And our little barbecue area. It's the place to sort of sit down, have a steak and a beer, relax with your friends. Now, let's go look at the top floors here first. I like to make this wide open. I had uh, different thoughts about the roof, but it just didn't look right on a few things and a few ideas I had. So we decided to go a different route, putting the elevator and sort of a makeshift workshop. Didn't want this big sucker inside. I ran a full staircase right down the back. A lot of layers. Uh, I think we're about 12 or 14 floors. So it's a long walk down <laughs> and it just keeps on going and am I unlocked over here no nope, not that one I locked myself out watch out all right so coming into the living room uh, we went with a pretty simple design here using uh, headstones and artifact stands and a few benches and the metal sign with the feeding troughs and it makes for a nice looking I guess living room set we wanted something simple with the staircase but colorful and decorative Fedra did an excellent job again choosing the right colors to blend with our backdrop green wall and our nice looking little horsey over there. I loved making this kitchen. Again, my wife did a great job decorating the colors, picking them out, making it uh, nice and, I don't know, inviting. Sort of looks like a Thanksgiving table. 
I used uh, preserving bins on top of catwalks with a layer of tables underneath and then a simple group of storage boxes, more catwalks, a few fish baskets, our nice cooker, and a small crop plop and a metal sign to make a sink. As you can see, that's just more decoration over there. For the open look on the wall, I used greenhouse single doorways. I really like the way it looks, sort of like it's open and you got the nice screen windows going on. And let's go over into our workshop and see our little elevator over there. Uh, I didn't want to crowd this place up, so I went with basically everything against the walls. So we could use this general area for breeding. You, you can fit multiple giga in here. I've had four in the room. Well, <laughs> All right, storage sort of hidden in the wall. I didn't know what to do with that area. I wanted to do that something, but we decided that the height was too low. So we went with a mid display. And my favorite thing about all my bases now is the in-floor storage. Doubled up on all the industrial equipment, except for the grinder. And there's that door that wouldn't let us in. All right. We had a couple of extra floors up top. So I wanted to go with... A loadout room. Oh, let's get into the loadout room. Here we go. This way you can put all your gear, store extra stuff in here. These things are great for holding, uh, you know, different gear that you might want to set together, you know, get your whole combination going. And then we got our Trophy room slash meeting room, war room. Oopsie daisy. Where we went with the long tables. And a few decorative designs. And here's a look out at the top layer of our planters. Look at our phoenixes from behind. All right, let's go drop in on the rest of the house. We gotta go down one more floor. It's a big place. I even get lost. Oopsie daisy, I'm locked out again. I keep forgetting that. Well, nobody's perfect, right? So let's get to the bedrooms. Because these are my favorite two rooms. I had a lot of fun with this room. Setting up that whole display up there. As you can see, our plantings have uh, passed away because our buddy has not come and taken over the base yet. But I went for a double king size bed here. But, uh,. I don't know. I like to say I staggered these boxes, turned them one way or the other. Makes for a different type of look. And we used the metal signs for pillows and sort of a headboard. And our little computer area over here. Place to keep all our books and all our goodies. All right, and a nice relaxing couch. I really love the color combination in here and the layout was quite easy but I don't know decorative tasteful I like the way it looks and this is my favorite room a lot of cyan in here one of my favorite colors with a good mixture of green giving us that little I don't know nice blend of color 
really like the way these came out. Again, my wife painting things perfectly to blend together and match wonderfully. The color of the walls, we went with a very light color just to sort of blend everything else into. And the same for the ceilings, as you can see. Bolder for the bedrooms, lighter on the ceilings, and bolder for our little entranceways and views into this room. We also went with the nice orange on the wood up here. And more storage areas in here are just mostly for the generators and whatever else you might want to keep down here. As you can see, they go all the way across. All right. And I think that's it. I hope you all like this uh, longer, more detailed walkthrough. Um, if you're on Twitch, I would appreciate a follow. And if you are uh, watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Help me grow my channel. Thanks for joining me. And you all have a wonderful night.